Molecular evolution is the process of changing the sequence composition of cellular molecules such as DNA, RNA, and proteins across generations. The field of molecular evolution uses principles of evolutionary biology and population genetics to explain patterns in these changes. Genes and proteins are modified in this process. All molecules have an evolutionary history. Phylogenetics is the science of studying evolutionary relationships. Phylogenetics has led to the creation of relationship trees between various species of bacteria, archaea, and eukaryotes. The following are the types of phylogenetic trees. Scaled trees and unscaled trees. In scaled trees, branch lengths are equal to the magnitude of change in the nodes. While Unscaled trees only represent the relationship between sequences. DNA acts as a cellular memory unit, and proteins are the translated products of DNA-coded information. Evaluation is very important to survive in different types of environments. There are some methods that bring about change or evolution in any organism. DNA gets modified by mutation, substitution, insertion, and deletion. Over time, species evolve to adapt to their circumstances. Since the environment and circumstances may be different for each species, they evolve uniquely. Unique evolutionary pressures may be encountered by each cell in the struggle for life. However, the sequence in which they are presented to the cells is also unique. Combinations of evolutionary factors are involved in evolution. The evolutionary events and their combinations impart relationships between sequences. These relationships are explored in phylogenetics. Several algorithms exist for finding such relationships. To understand the concept of evolution, we follow some rules. Phylogenetics involves processing sequence information from different species to find evolutionary relationships. Output from such studies includes phylogenetic trees. In the above figure, the pointer stands for ancestor, and with the passage of time, evolution occurred and the genome sequence of organisms changed. The root node is the ancestor of all other nodes. The direction of evolution is from the ancestor to the terminal nodes. Rooted and unrooted trees can be used to show phylogenetic relationships between sequences. Several types of algorithms exist, which are divided into two classes. There are many methods for constructing evolutionary trees. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos and click the bell icon for the most recent ones.